Okay, today we have the Igrat uh, V310, uh, supposed to be a German uh, scooter as well. It's uh, built by a German company, Geyser BB, uh, which has a Chinese affiliate which uh, builds these uh, scooters. So um, let's uh, give it a shot. This uh, one's uh, pretty heavy, uh, weighs around 20 kilos. Uh, holding point is much in the back has a, a light which you need to slide on open the handlebars a little bit and the light slides on if you want to keep the light on see it's a little bit okay if you want to keep the light on you need to be careful that you don't damage the the light by folding the handles. Handles fold out just like this. You got a locking mechanism. Then the locking mechanism over here needs to be pushed down to get it up. Then it locks again by this and then pulling it so extra safety does take uh, a longer time now you can adjust uh, the steering uh, wheel on this one the height and now we're ready and to go and kick it does have a kickstand as well with a spring so you need to keep holding the kickstand with your foot then it can stand on its own you see just uh, retract it to start we press three seconds and uh, it's fully charged. We just went a couple of hundred meters with it and this does give a charge indication. So we're going to test how far we can uh, ride it on our normal uh, tour around. Uh, we can adjust the speeds settings up to gear nine. That's basically it. We will see that this uh, reaches a pretty high uh, SP, has a lot more power than your average scooter. Okay. So here we go on the flat asphalt. Uh, there is no uh, tachometer on uh, this uh, scooter, so you don't know how fast you're going. It does have a disc brake front and rear, which sh should do pretty good in the brake test. No problem uh, driving with one hand for a short while. We come over the Belgian pavé. No fuss whatsoever. And I guess we're doing around uh, 35 kilometers an hour. We're heading up a bridge. Cruise control is not on. Okay, you feel the speed is slowing a little bit, but as you can see, it's still going up really fast uphill. You won't do this uh, on a bike. Guess we're doing around at 25, 30. Uh, downhill again. I do sense a little uh, instability. There seems to be that the wheel's not completely aligned. There's a small picking noise as well. And you see it on the steering wheel. Uh, it's uh, I'm breaking out. It's not that really stable. Whoops! I don't know if you noticed. We just uh, lost the front tire in the air a little bit. From standstill uphill, accelerates pretty decent. 
This is no uh, ordinary step scooter. This is more uh, regular uh, scooter uh, B, which uh, needs a license plate. Not only license plate for scooter B, you also need to register it. Hence the license plate, you need to get uh, insurance for it. Uh, not uh, only the BA uh, towards third parties. I'm going downhill again. So the charging light keeps on blinking. But still going strong. There's quite some heavy wind, I don't know if you will hear it in the video. But it doesn't seem to feel it at all. Okay. Let's see how it copes with the little uh, jump. No effort whatsoever. So we're headed up to the cobblestones and some Belgian pavé. And it's gonna be a lot smoother than the other scooters uh, except the Xi Xiaomi. Because yeah, you feel it a little bit in my noise, but in my uh, voice. But to drive it, no effort. This can easily cope with it. Break it. Let's take the turn. And from a standstill. Pavé is uh, effortless as well. So it's a little bit colder, I do feel my thumb on the pavé. Let's go for the brake test immediately. So we're reaching uh, six meters and a half on this one with both brakes applied and a little slit on the rear tire that was it